We're gonna try. We're gonna try to see how sensitive those animals are to copper. Do you know what is copper? Yeah. What is copper? Do you know what it is for? You can use it as a weed killer. You just make bird kill weed. Or it's not a weed. It's, 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 it's you. We use it in our body. You know, organisms use it for their metabolism. So, we're gonna see how sensitive they are. Okay? And we're gonna try to see what concentration kills them. Okay, so we're gonna expose those sea monkeys to six concentration of copper. Okay? So here's your plate. And you're gonna fill up those wells by those chemicals here. See? I don't know, I'm just filling all the space. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. I see two. Yeah, you're going to have to stop to the right. And they were and now they're totally dead. And the number six corresponds to one gram per liter of copper. Um, to give you an idea in the sea is 0 0.0000 something gram per liter. So we are way over. So it's in a way it's good because it shows that they are resistant. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, so the eye, that, that eye there used to be when they were very, very young, it was on this side. And they used to swim like this, like a normal fish. But as they get older, they, they flatten out and the eye actually moves around. So it's, it's on top. So the other thing I want to do is um, to show you how we age them. So there's a little bone that you can pick out of these out of these uh, oh, that'll age it. And we'll have a look at it underneath the microscope to tell you how old it is. So you start at the um, at the anus, at the bum bum, and then that's where you make your cut. So this is where they've already done it. Yeah. Yep. That's where the coital is, the coital is right there. So we're going straight into the into the stomach cavity where which holds a whole lot of all of the organs. This is the reproductive organ. And because it is this, this uh, because of it's this size, this is a female. This is how we can tell what what sex the fish is. So what we can do is we often um, take organs out and then we measure various things in them. One of the things that, that can happen is that um, there are certain class of contaminants or pollutants that actually affect the. Um, they can actually make um, male characteristics in the female gonads. Okay? So you see sperm cells inside the ovary. So it's, they call it intrasex. So it's like a female, but it's got male characteristics. And likewise in males as well. They, they have, um, so there's a lot of things that you use in um, so pharmaceuticals, so pills and things that some people take, have those sorts of effects. Um, a lot of chemicals like detergents, they very they act in a similar way. So the stuff that you that you put down your sink can sometimes have an effect like that. So one of the things to do we can take out the reproductive gland. So in this case this is an ovary. Also it's a female way. And there's one here and there's one on the other side as well, so they're always paired. Yeah, no, I'm showing you what to do in the first place. You need to watch both, otherwise you'll butcher a female. And what happens is that depending on which time of the year that you um, catch your, your pātiki, sometimes the eggs, you actually see them, there'll be a whole lot of eggs in here. At the moment you see it's, it's, it's not gravid, what they call gravid, where it's bulging. And, the, and you can see the female, because this will be bulging out like this. That means she's ready to lay her eggs. At the moment she's a, a little bit away yet, but her, you can see the ovaries actually getting quite big. Is that another one? It's another one. See, they're always paired. See, it's on the other side. There's another cavity. Cavity along here, and there's another cavity down here. So if we pull that out, then um, yeah, you'll see there's, there's, there'll be two ovaries. Now we can, if you if you know at what time of the year that you get your uh, female fish, you can weigh you can weigh this, and you can get an um, um, you can create a, an index which gives you a number, which then you can compare. 
to like a fish from a nice clean habitat and a fish from a polluted habitat, okay? And sometimes that can give you some interesting information.